Good day to you, my trader friends. It is Wednesday, January 6th, 2021, and your cherry bomb trade is in. For I'm wondering, can you be bullish like I can, along with Tasty Trade, of course, along with Tom Preston's trade on Google? Google, not the most liquid of underlines. It only has a liquidity rank of two out of four. You can see those little drops up there. Those are actually stars inside of Tastyworks for you Tastyworks users. Google has an IV rank of 27 right now, uh, which puts it at a, in that debit spread territory for most people, right? Earnings are coming up in early February. I can give you a date on that in just a second. We are looking at an earnings date of February 1st. That is very early February. <laughs> So uh, we're setting ourselves up to benefit from the increase in volatility that occurs as we march towards earnings. And also, I think if you take a quick look at the chart, which we'll do when we hop into Thinkorswim, um, I think you can get bullish along with me. So why don't we go ahead and do that if you're willing to tag along with me for the ride? But first, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Neil, and this is Option Theory, and I want to thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, stick around to the end. You get your thumbs, thumbs up from me for making it to the end of my videos. I do appreciate it when you guys watch my videos to the end. But I get it. If you get what you need and then you're ready to dip out, that's fine too. It just helps me when you guys watch those videos all the way through. For those of you that are new, new here and you haven't watched any of my videos, head on down to that description. You're going to find a link to go over and sign up with Tasty Trade. It's a bit.ly link. It's not in any way like, you know, stealing your email or anything. You just want to know that that link is getting clicked. You sign up for the Tasty Trade emails that we get five days a week. Four of those days have trades and we put on those trades using Thinkorswim and its simulated trading platform. So you can get practice all your trading ideas, get all the learning without risking the real money so that maybe someday you'll feel confident in taking your skills into the real market. So before I forget, I'm going to turn my mouse on. There it is. Cool. All right. So on screen, you can see we've got, uh, you know, our year to date has been reset here, but we're doing all right. Probably thanks to that position that we took because I fell asleep at the wheel in Target. Uh, I just want to go over those real fast. Let me show you what I did with those. I guess this is a brief aside, but stick around with me um, and yeah, I think you'll like it. So I happen to be looking at uh, MJ, which is in my IRA account right now. And for the longest time, it's been hanging out right here in the sweet spot. And uh, it's had a couple of great days here in uh, cannabis land. So I'm kind of hoping that it comes back to reality. But at the same time, this broken wing butterfly that we did here has a no risk to the upside. So not going to sweat about that one at all. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you Target. Target's been moving up and that's fine. And we ended up being put a whole bunch of shares. I think that's how that was. Or, or yeah. So and that's fine. But I want to show you what I got going on over here, Target. I want to put the stock position on. What we did is we I ended up selling a call here for 180. So that's right. We're already uh, in that in the money. We're going to get those shares called away as long as it stays over 180. But uh, yeah, our cost basis I think was down at 178 or something like that. So hey, I'm fine with getting those shares called away, and uh, that works for me. If that happens, we'll make over $1,100. But if not, we got paid six dollars fifteen cents, six hundred and fifteen bucks which takes our cost basis down all the way over here to 168.85. So that's our break even. And that's pretty nice. The other one I wanted to show you was we ended up going short 100 shares in uh, the Home Builders ETF, right? And so what I ended up doing on that one is because we're short that one, I did a covered put. So that caps our gains should it go down, and that's fine. But I also I ended up buying a call to protect myself because I'm not particularly comfortable with taking unlimited risk when you're short shares like that. So I bought a call, and that call here is at the 59. And in so doing, I have created what's known as a collar, right? And what can happen is I can lose $15 if Home Builders rallies. And if Home Builders continues to tank, I'll make $185. I've already made 90, so I could take my 50% run and sell and uh, buy the shares back. I'm okay with that idea. But I, I want to see how this plays out. I've not done a collar before. We've not been short 100 shares, so let's see what happens there. Okay. Now, on to what you really came here for was the trade inside of 
Google. Let's go here and type in the Analyze tab, type in Google. And what we're gonna look here is at the February monthly expiration. So this is trading through earnings. You'd call this an earnings trade, All right? We are gonna come down here to at the money. We're looking at a long call or a debit call, uh, what some people would call what a bull call spread, right? So I think these numbers are a little off compared to what I have. Tasty works. Give me a second here, 17 or 35. So the numbers that we got in the email here, 1735, uh 1745 so is that because google's gapping down that would be bad for us but let's build it out as it is in the email 735 we're going to be buying the 1735 and then i want to hold down the control click uh, key and click 745 a ten dollar wide we've got a vertical here and it's looking to charge us 460 dollars for this trade and that means we could make 540, right? So let's, now that we've got this built, note that it's one contract here. Your defaults may be 10. I've done a video for that. If I have the time, I'm gonna put a card up there for you. Hopefully you'll see uh, at the top of the screen, a card slide in. You can go ahead and watch how to change your default orders. I wanna go now to the part where we look at the risk profile and understand the probabilities of this trade. I'm gonna drag this guy over here so we can see our expected move. Not seeing it, are you? So let's get the date dialed in right. 2.20, first step there, right? There we go. Let's drag that so we can see a little bit of the dark. Let's spread this out a little bit. There we go. All right, now let's set our price slices to break even at expiration. And we're looking at a only 41% chance of us making $541, $540, excuse me and a 58, almost 60% probability of losing $460. Not a big fan of those probabilities. However, like I said, if you look at the chart for Google, um, and I don't really have the technical analysis tool set up on this one yet, I have, uh, but when I had to reset my Windows and re reinstall it, I lost it. So let me switch over here to the charts that I have here in Tastyworks. I'm gonna go switch over to just where we're looking at it. There we go. Uh, so that's interesting. It certainly has changed since I started looking at it this morning. <laughs> wow. Okay. So a big expansion in, uh, in volatility is happening here. It's going down. So this to me are bullish indicators. So it might be the kind of thing with this trade, if you can, you're gonna wanna wait till the market opens because it's looking like something's happening here with Google and it's gonna gap down. Um, might be having something to do with the news that you saw uh, in the Cherry Bomb email. Once again, if you didn't sign up for that yet, that's okay. Go ahead and sign up for that. And you can always um, view them online. They're archived as well. Tasty Trade has them. So, um, if I can find that link for you to see the archived emails, that's great. I'll put that in the uh, description below as well. All right. So with that, I wanted to show you here that what I was considering, as I took about 20 minutes to review the email and come up with trade ideas, um, I, I was more interested in this particular uh, long call spread here. Instead of the 1735 and uh, short 1745, this one seemed more interesting to me. It had a better P50, and I was only gonna potentially lose $260, have similar probabilities, and be able to make 740, um, or in half of that, I, a good probability. So, uh, you know, now that I see that something's going on here, I think I'm going to wait on this trade. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna wait on this trade as well? Uh, this might be a lunchtime break trade. Uh, as well here. So we can see the bid ask here, 1695, 1709. So something's definitely gapping down here. So this is definitely a time to wait, see what happens at the market open, and we can reframe our trade. But I'm still bullish. If this, this is correct here, Google doesn't hang out lo long down here, right? So I'm okay with getting bullish on Google. But sadly, we will not be putting a trade on in today's uh, cherry bomb video, but you will see us set up. We've analyzed, and I think you'll be ready to go when the market opens with your idea on this one. So, sadly, this will be 
I don't know. I'm not that sad about it. Look, we've done a lot of these videos, right? It's almost been a year of these videos, and I'm having a good time, and I want to thank all of you guys for, for sticking with me. And, oh, yeah, I said if you stuck around, you'd get a thumbs up. And I got to show that to you. I'm giving you a thumbs up. <laughs> right? Um, so thumbs up to you for sticking this uh, far into the video. We're not going to put today's trade on. I hope you're okay with that until maybe lunch break. And if I get home later and I've got the trade on during lunch, I'll make a quick video to let you know what I did. So until I see you in tomorrow's cherry bomb trade, good luck today and happy trading.